Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to set up automation systems and farms in Roblox. So this right here is actually a prime example of the AFK farm. So as you guys can see, it's clicking E and then it is clicking the buy eight eggs. Now, this of course is not the most effective way because Pet Simulator X, you know, has an auto open system. But if you guys need to do that, you can use this. And there's also tons of other things you guys can do with automation farms and systems. This is just going over, you know, the basics and you'll figure out more potential things that you guys can do with this over time. So without further ado, let's actually get right into this video all right so the first thing that we're going to need to do is actually stop and uh, now okay so what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to this website right here called https colon slash the tiny task.com it's going to take you to this website that basically has the download to tiny task which is the software that we're using tiny task is one of the best macros that i know of it works really really well and i actually like using it a lot it's super simple and like super easy to understand so once you guys have this download you know just click the download button but once you guys have it downloaded just open it up and this is what it will look like when it opens up now the first thing that we're going to need do to make sure that roblox is actually looping is click on preferences and click on continuous playback now once you have done that that's going to loop it whenever you play your macro recording so in this case we're just going to do a basic test right here we are going to open eggs with the system so to start recording a playback that you're going to want to like play back later click Control shift alt r now it's going to start recording so just start doing whatever you're wanting it to replicate uh, and do for you and then once you're done click Control shift alt r again and that will stop the recording and now what you guys can do is click Control shift alt p and as you guys can see it will move my mouse it will click everything that it needs to and it's it's just going to be an automation system now this is good for if you want to not go afk like not get kicked for being afk in games this helps out a lot too there's other methods of doing this this is just you know a more advanced i guess method you could say of not going afk but this is also a way to do uh certain tasks there are some other things that you guys can do with this program in different games but i'm going to be going over everything that you can just do with this macro in general so to stop it again you just click Control shift alt p and it will stop moving your mouse around for you and stuff like that so we're going to reopen this back up tiny task and you guys can actually save that file that we just made now of course the positioning of your screen is going to be different each time so it's going to be kind of hard to save this and reuse it because if i rejoin the game my positioning isn't going to be the exact same now it may still work if you guys can get this positioned right but i'm still going to show you how to save it just for uh reference so if i click save and save it to my downloads real quick uh just call it some random file it's gonna be called a recording file so i'm gonna click save and it's gonna be called blah, 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 dot rec now if i want to open a file and i want to you know use it later i can just open it up now and i can use it so that's the basics to saving a file now again this is useful if you're really doing a different thing other than you know afk and pet simulator x because for the most part resetting it up each time isn't that big of a deal so the next thing that we can actually do is speed up our loop so if we want it to you know go slower we can put it on one half speed so this is what one half speed would actually look like so that's a bit slower and let's go and see what times two speed would actually look like now again speeding this up could actually ruin the system if you don't have you know uh, if the game can't move at that speed so if i just click Control shift alt p it may actually try to click it again before it even really can before it even pops up but for the most part this is actually timed pretty correctly but if i were to let's say put it on 100 it's not it's going to try to press before it even can see as you guys can see the mouse is just basically teleporting around because that's where it would be collected uh, clicking so yes this is definitely a very good method to afking eggs and whatnot and a lot of other things that you may want to do with macro systems this is just the very basics to doing so so if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe it helps out a ton we're on the road to 4,000 subscribers so it'd mean a lot if you guys did subscribe but that's pretty much it for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one